Many students walk through the narrow halls at CHS knowing that someone is going to hurt them, whether it is mentally or physically. This is how numerous kids feel every day as they just try to persevere through the day ahead of them. Caldwell High School should offer group therapy sessions for bullies and victims of bullying so they can build stronger relationships with each other, work more productively together, and ultimately create a closer-knit society at CHS. CHS should offer group therapy sessions for bullies and victims of bullying. They would bring numerous advantageous things for bullies and their victims. For example, these sessions have the potential for students to build stronger relationships with each other. By putting two or more students in a room together, they will be able to discuss and find similarities and common interests that will lead to a beneficial relationship. Any student is able to form relationships with each other, no matter who they are or what they are capable of. Wouldn't it warm your heart to be able to see students that used to have so many issues come together and become close friends? Not only will the therapy help with building relationships, it will also make bullies and victims work more productively together. If a tormentor and the person being tormented can fix their concerns and disagreements, then they will most likely be able to work successfully together. But the first step is actually fixing the problem between the two students. If they aren't fixed, then the bully can lead to the students committing suicide. No one wants to be the cause of someone's death. Imagine yourself being the reason for another person's death. Wouldn't that just tear you apart? If they could just fix their underlying issues, then the bullies and ones being bullied would be able to work productively together and no one would get hurt. To build on that idea, students have shown that group therapy sessions let participants know that they are not alone, thus bringing them closer together and uniting them. In saying so, these sessions will create a closer-knit society at CHS. If students could abolish their disagreements and if bullies could stop tormenting their victims, then we could create a sense of hope, prosperity, and love at CHS. By pursuing these qualities, the students at CHS will become closer than they have ever been before. While I acknowledge the fact that not all groups of students get along, the group therapy sessions have so many wonderful facets that could be derived from bullies and victims of bullying attending therapy to solve their disagreements. These effective group therapy sessions will make students interact better together, be more successful, and come closer together.